I wanted to talk um, a little bit about the session yesterday that we have to do activism, advocacy, uh, top down and bottom up. And so I am happy that my friend Felipe, he now is proposing me as a, a candidate from Spain to the European Parliament with a transhumanist platform. Um, well, I'm just saying that uh, uh, this could happen in the future. Uh, we need to approach all different levels to take our ideas forward. And I'd like to say, as I mentioned, that while well, this has been a fantastic event, so I, I truly want to congratulate DDA and Mark and the whole team of the AT, um, ATF that have been working on this. But um, there are other groups working on this, as you all know, Humanity Plus. I have been taking these ideas to other groups, like, I, like the World Academy of Art and Science, that they never heard about transhumanism before. And in the Millennium Project, we just published this book um, that um, David will be presenting in London soon. And, uh, and we have a scenarios for the year 2050, three scenarios for 2050. And one of those scenarios is basically transhumanism. This book, The State of the Future, is given to all the embassies in the USA and to the um, representations at the United Nations in New York. So it has at least some impact in some of the policy makers. So I think this is important to continue and similar activities. I also want to uh, invite you once again to the RAD Fest, because we were talking also yesterday about having something like a festival. I plan to take this idea to Europe uh, maybe in one or two years. We are experimenting first next year with Bangkok, doing a similar activity in Thailand. And then hopefully we can do something in Europe. There are many good places in the Adriatic Sea, in the Mediterranean, and obviously in the Canary Islands or, and the Balearic Islands in Spain, where there is a health industry. So we could have this, which is a very focused event. And I am planning to do something similar. Um, remember our website in Spanish, Transhumanismo.org is being read all over the Spanish-speaking world, obviously including the USA, which, which has uh, the fourth largest uh, Hispanic community in the planet. Uh, so they read our website. And um, for next year, based on the success that we had with Transition 2005 that I organized in Venezuela, uh, we want to do something much bigger and better now in Madrid. Uh, we will have interesting speakers, not this time Sir Arthur C. Clarke, because he has already died, unfortunately, even though he was also a closeted transhumanist, and I love his laws of the future, especially, uh, well, the first one, because uh, Paul uh, was talking about impossible things, and he used to say, when a famous scientist says that something is possible, he's probably right, but when he says it is impossible, he's probably wrong. So I don't like to hear the word impossible. Um, uh, as I said, when I was the international director of the World Transhumanist Association, I founded chapters in 30 countries around the planet, including China, Hungary, Egypt, Belgium. Uh, in fact, you can see I opened the group in Belgium here in 2004, and uh, one of our members, and I keep on sending uh, messages, one of our members, as you can see, is Didier, and so he was happy when I sent the message to the all transhumanist community here in Belgium, and in other countries as well, anyway. And I'm very happy that uh, David just put in uh, H plus Pedia Transmission 2018, that will be in October 19 to 21st in Madrid. Um, remember, Spain is the country that discovered the Americas, and we changed our name from non plus ultra to plus ultra, plus ultra. And I have a fantastic team here. Uh, where we are going to be organizing two activities, one in Spain, in Galicia, so that you know where it is. Uh, it's a fantastic place. It's called the Magic Valley. It's a national heritage monument of UNESCO. It is in, um, in the northwest corner of Spain. That is Galicia, a beautiful place with one of the most beautiful cathedrals in, uh, in all of uh, Spain. We organized a TEDx uh, conference there a few months ago. And... Uh, it was fantastic, incredible Spanish tortilla, a lot of good wine, a lot of fantastic entertainment. I was even singing. And uh, the most uh, beautiful countryside that, that you can see in Northwest Spain. But then the main international event, as you know, will be Madrid. 
And uh, it will be here in front of the Christopher Columbus Square, the most centric place of Spain, with a beautiful view to the whole place, similar to what I organized in May uh, in terms of uh, immortality and cryopreservation with the National Science Foundation of Spain, um, where Einstein, this is the place where Einstein spoke when he came to Madrid, and uh, with the business school, I'm talking about the singularity, just a few quick things. I truly am a strong believer that we are going to hit the singularity by 2045 or earlier, and we will become immortal then, and we will go beyond the biological condition. Um, as I said, I, I helped Ray Kurzweil with his books in Spanish. Uh, he will be publishing his next book uh, next year, so I highly recommend that. But we need to keep on working on immortality. immortality. I always say medicine is a failure. Medicine knows since 1951 that cancer cells are immortal. And nothing has been done. Well, maybe it couldn't be done before, but it's a really incredible failure. If you go outside, 99% of the people do not know that cancer cells are biologically immortal. Um, I invite you also to Spain to, to the launch of the book with David and, and myself called The Death of Death in the five top cities of Spain. I'm also working on Plan B on cryonics, and I would like to give you a fantastic news if you come to Spain next year, not only because I was involved in the first cryopreservation in Spain and also the second that was uh, a couple of months ago, but because probably we will make an announcement creating the first government facility for cryopreservation in Europe, in the Canary Islands. This will be the warmest cryonics facility in the planet. So it will be fantastic. I hope it will happen. I will meet with the president of the government of the Canary Islands in a couple of months. I hope to convince him. And uh, so I, I hope to have good news for you soon. My plan, again, is like the Chinese say, let's light up the world. I am not here to blame us because we couldn't change the world, but as the Chinese say, it's better uh, to light up a candle. So let's light up a candle because the world has two possibilities. And actually, tomorrow I am flying to Korea, but to South Korea, okay? <laughs> South Korea. I teach in, in Korea for the last 20 years, and actually I also went to North Korea three years ago. And I can tell you, it really is that dark. And I can tell you even worse, I got malaria in North Korea. North Korea is the only country in the, in the Northern Hemisphere that still has malaria, basically. It's a disaster. It's a dark country. So where do we want to go? To the future or to the past? To North Korea or to South Korea? We have to meditate, and for that, I invite you with my friends, uh, Rafa, Elia, come here, with my friends from Spain to come to the land of Plus Ultra. Okay. Uh, no, levántate, agarra la bandera. Okay, uh, so... We want to welcome you all to Spain. I'll tell you two more things about the Spanish flag, so that you know. These are the Hercules columns. The Hercules columns, uh, which was the end of the world at the time, uh, from the Mediterranean Sea, and then uh, Africa and Europe. And also we have the four kingdoms of Spain at the beginning. This is Castilla, this is Leon, this is Navarra, and this is Aragon. By the way, Catalonia is part of Aragon, so it is still part of Spain, right? So, uh, picture time. Let's have pictures here. Pictures, pictures, pictures. One moment. I think of that. Okay. Okay, so picture, please. And all of you are welcome to have fantastic wine in Spain. And olive oil. I'll tell you one more thing. Yesterday, the OECD released the statistics about longevity in the world. Spain has the second largest longevity in the planet after Japan. So if you want to live, come to Madrid. Thank you. <laughs>